Mamma, mamma! Vorrei una colazione leggera ma decisamente invitante che possa coniugare la mia voglia di leggerezza e golosità! Non esiste una colazione così, cara. Posso un asteroide colpirmi se esiste. <ride> ok, yeah! I get it! She died! I guess this is an ad for a breakfast snack? Okay. Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Cursed Commercials. Oh my god. Raps! Is that the X Shot Skins Flux Zombie Stomper Blaster? Why, uh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Guys, let me ask you a question. What blaster are you bringing to battle? Today's episode is sponsored by X-Shot Skins. The first custom designed blasters in a way that's never been done before. X-Shot Skin blasters include new and improved air pocket technology darts for a further, faster, and more accurate shot. Like this. Legal safety disclaimer, do not actually aim at eyes or face, except for when there's a real-life mummy that poses a significant threat to you. The same goes for zombies, aliens, and your angry neighbor that yells at you when you accidentally throw a frisbee too far and then it lands in their yard and then they say if it happens one more time, they're going to call the police even though it's just a frisbee and it's not going to hurt anybody and it's only happens like eight times. As a gamer, my favorite X-Shot skin is the massive Last Stand Game Over Blaster. This blaster can hit up to multiple targets up to 90 feet away. The X-Shot skins range comes in four new blaster molds with 27 unique skins to select and collect. Grab a blaster for your battle by clicking the link in the description. <coughs> choose different, choose X-Shot skins. So things for Chad weren't going well. He thought he'd read a good luck spell, but he misread and then he fell under a curse. He fans parted to a creepy castle, forced to watch Christian messages till the end of time. Now they may be cursed, but they're not the worst. They're often kind of funny. You can watch them first and then converse with no fraud. some new commercials. This is the show where we watch television commercials and then after we watch each one, we rate out of 10 how cursed we think it is. That's it, that's the show, very simple. That's it. Who did you expect? <laughs> what the frick? Isn't this like, correct me if I'm wrong, but this isn't this something like from Lazy Town? Aren't these like Lazy Town characters? They're not speaking English, so I'm unsure of what they're saying. This appears to be advertising like a grocery store or something? Not very cursed, but I do have many questions that unfortunately may not get answers. Six. B -b -b big bug. Oh, it's just a bug. I'll get it. Don't let this happen to you. Oh, thanks, Clark. We needed you. This might be a first ever on Cursed Commercials, but the animation in this commercial was actually pretty good. 
Seriously, it was actually not that bad. This show is usually absolutely doused in uh, poorly animated cursed commercials, but this one actually wasn't too bad. I would say maybe this is more cursed just because there's a giant spider in the bathtub. But the commercial quality itself, not cursed at all. One! You need to redo your room? For a limited time, if you find this certificate in marked boxes, you win $10,000 for a room makeover. Or write in. Many will enter. Two kids will win grand prizes. 400 more will win their choice of one of these prizes. Uh, uh, don't even think about it. Gushers, redo your room sweepstakes. It's a blast. Ah, another classic Fruit Gushers commercial. Feels like they made hundreds of these. This was kind of like their gimmick back in the day. I do not remember the sweepstakes though. $10,000 just to redo your room? $10,000 today would even be like a good budget to redo a bathroom. Guys, we need to find who won this sweepstakes. I'd be seriously interested in the story behind whoever won this. Or maybe this is fake. Maybe it's a scam. I feel like we need to get to the bottom of this. Internet, do your thing. I actually really hate it when people say that. Internet, do your thing. Why does that bother me so much? I don't know why, but I just really hate it when people say that. Internet. Do your thing. Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats in a box. A word of advice. Once you've satisfied your craving for the chewy, marshmallowy, homemade taste of Kellogg's Rice Krispies Treats Squares, the craving could return. And there it is. <laughs> I was like, this commercial is really not that bad. Just seems like a normal commercial. And then Clown Monster. <laughs> I was about this close to actually shooting my TV with this. This close. Who delivers outstanding fuel efficiency without compromising the joy of driving? Mm -hmm. Mazda with Skyactiv technology. And who received the only certified Truffle Tree seal of approval? Mazda with Skyactiv technology. And who? I don't know. You've only said it like a billion times. Only Mazda could reimagine driving with revolutionary Skyactiv technology. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Him. Uh, aren't we forgetting something? Oh, and do see Dr. Seuss's The Lorax in theaters this March. I don't remember this part in the movie. Guys, do you remember the part where the Lorax gets in a Mazda to drive around? Do you guys remember that? I don't remember that. Maybe it was like a deleted scene or something. That commercial was actually pretty weird. I think they're like insinuating that the car is like climate friendly. I think that's like uh, kind of obvious. But uh, I hate to break it to you guys, but truffle trees or truffle trees, whatever the frick. It's fictional. It's a fictional thing. It's a fictional award. This doesn't mean anything. Got a fictional kid's storybook character to endorse your car. That doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah, hop in my Mazda. It's truffle tree friendly. Said no one. No one said that ever. <laughs> Why am I so angry about this? Four. Appearing tonight on three stages at Showbiz Pizza Place, the Rock of Fire Explosion. <laughs> Summer vacation is really uh, well. And starring the greatest fresh baked pizza made to order. Over 60 new games and rides. We have it all at Showbiz Pizza Place. Something, 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 something. Five Nights at Freddy's. Something, 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 something. Five Nights. Something Freddy's, something jump scare, something something. <laughs> Cringy jokes aside, I actually like 
showbiz pizza. I actually never been to a showbiz pizza. Uh, I was a Chuck E. Cheese kid, but having learned that showbiz pizza was like a thing kind of seemed better to me than Chuck E. Cheese. So I'm kind of disappointed. It was never a place I got to go. I'm going to give this a one because it's not cursed at all. And this was when there was a lot more appreciation for restaurant animatronics than there is today with the curse that is Five Nights at Freddy's. This, there was a time where this was like looked at as something not creepy, but I guess a lot of kids did think it was kind of scary. I don't know. I think it's cool. I always thought it was cool. What a tangent I just went on. This was weird. One. Uh, rabbit, how do you make it Saturday? It isn't Saturday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday stole my car! <laughs> yeah, not sure how that helps me. Ooh, you just got served! Breakfast! Welcome to Saturday! Saturday! Dance party! A bit of Saturday every day. Part of a good breakfast. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. I think it was kind of a cool commercial, but then I also think it was kind of weird and bad at the same time. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like a Nickelodeon looking animated show featuring various serial characters. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Make this a thing. Internet, do your thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do I have to rate this? That wasn't a curse. One. Hey, everyone. It's Chad Tronic editing the video. I forgot this part was in the commercial, so I'm going to adjust my rating accordingly. Get the skinny on fat loss at the Fat Loss Center. Tired of dealing with stubborn belly fat? Got a big gut. We'll take it off. Call the Fat Loss Center today for a free consultation. You're getting too big for these britches. The Fat Loss Center can help you melt away pounds and inches safely in just a few treatments. Lose that fat. Lose the fat without dieting. Get off the couch and get on down to the Fat Loss Center. What was going through people's minds when they made this ad? I don't... This makes no sense. Why did they... <laughs> why did they do this? Have a guy in, like, grandma makeup and wear a wig and... I just, I don't understand why they did this. What dots did they connect to get to this? I would like to know the creative process that led to this commercial very much. 10! Open. <laughs> I have a soft spot for uh, weird Japanese commercials like this. If she had uh, protection, this wouldn't be an issue. I really like the creepy monkey toy face. That's uh, prime clickbait thumbnail material right there. Whatever kind of candy or chocolate bar this is looks pretty decent. But if eating the candy lures supernatural events to occur around you, um, I might hold off on this one. Nine. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get it. She died. I guess this is an ad for a breakfast snack. Okay. That's a 10, baby! So I had an event and I needed a hand. Luckily, I found my 
Chautauqua Man. It's the best Mexican catering around. Even Tom Hanks knows they're the best in town. Don't delay, book my Taco Man today. For my Taco Man, you can't go wrong at mytacoman.com. Best tacos and rice I ever had, quote, Tom Hanks. Why do I have a feeling he did not say this? Also, this commercial wins the award for, like, most annoying repetitive melody in a song for a commercial that I have ever heard. Nine! Once again, folks, item J343 is the Surfing Monkey Coin Bank. It's great for graduations, wedding gifts, and I believe we sold out on this one last time, so please do not let this one pass you by. Now let's go to caller Scott in Nashville. Hello. Now, Scott, I understand you just bought 15 of our Surfing Monkey Banks. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting very big NFT vibes from this uh, commercial. <laughs> On a totally unrelated note, where can I actually buy this? I kind of want this, actually. This is going to be the next big thing, guys. Trust me. Even Elon Musk owns one. Just like Tom Hanks likes Taco Man. Seven! This is a GameStop ad? I could have sworn this was going to be an advertisement for like a Halloween costume store. Who knows? Maybe it is really GameStop where you buy these costumes. Every time I go there, there's less and less games and just like more and more stuff that's not games. I'm not even joking. GameStop has just kind of become Build-A-Bear for gamers. <laughs> it's just like become the place where you go to buy like a Mario plushie and maybe a game. I don't want this to be like a complete commentary on GameStop, but the commercial was funny. Not super, super cursed. I just can't believe this is a GameStop commercial. Eight. <laughs> Special thanks to Xshot Skins for sponsoring today's episode. These are genuinely the strongest and most accurate firing blasters I've ever tried. And I know when you get one, uh, you will think the same and you will agree. Get one for yourself by clicking the link in the description. Raps, has that been on you this entire time? 